in part one we show how by putting the right Jara rule in QNI, it can detect Cobalt Strike attacks disguised as jQuery. And we can see the details in here. Uh, and that's the suspect content descriptor, CS in jQuery. So we, what we want to do next is instead of just doing a search for it, we want to have an offense that will fire on this particular condition so we don't have to search for it but before I do that I forgot to mention in the previous video that another suspect content that is not in the Jara rule is, is an intrinsic part of the things that QNI detects it finds that the bad guys are these guys in the traffic by using port uh, 443 so it looks like HTTPS but uh, QNI detects well this is coming in clear text so uh, this is uh, technique that the bad guys use to try to discourage the SOC operator from uh, looking into the content of the traffic because he will assume that by being HTTPS it will be encrypted. So the objective then is to build a rule to that will work in here. So let's we're gonna do this in two steps. We're gonna create the rule first and then we are gonna optimize it a little bit. So we're here on the Offenses tab on the Rules and we're going to create a new rule that is a flow rule. So we want to have the test conditions for flow rules and the one we are going to get uh, is uh, any of, there are many for these, but uh, the one that we are interested is uh, this one. What is the property? Well, it's going to be suspect content, right? So if we type here suspect content descriptor, we add it, and it's basically the CS query that we saw. So we don't need to put a regular expression, we can just put directly the CS in jQuery, where we saw in the description, and basically the rule is set. Again we're going to come back because this will be a very expensive rule and optimize it a little bit but for testing purposes we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to test make sure that it works and then we will optimize. Oh I forgot to put a name so detecting Cobalt Strike jQuery And then what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm just going to make it fire an offense. Um, indexing by source IP is fine. Uh, and that's that's it. So let me actually replay the pickup uh, and let's go back to the network activity. Let's go back in real time and replaying the pickup should get that offense firing. So here in the offenses tab we have a recent event, recent offense that fire and so if we display the rules it is the rule we built. But now as we said before this rule is very expensive because if for every flow we're going to be doing all this level of inspection it will be it will not be very efficient. So we're going to add another condition and the condition is going to be flow matches this search filter. We're going to move this one up because we want this to be evaluated uh, before any. And things that you want to put in here, well, for example, I just want this to work when this is local to remote or remote to local. So flow direction equals any of, right? And we're going to put uh, local to remote and we're going to put remote to local, right? So we add that condition. 
it's an or in there as you can see the other thing that we want to do is that we don't want to you know, again keep on doing this and we can optimize it a little better by making sure that we only go and inspect for the CS query value when suspect content exists so we look for the suspect content description property and we put here is not NA we add that condition and we now have built a rule that is a little bit less uh, it will consume less resources because unless the traffic is coming from the inside out or the outside in and there is something on the software description I will not get into the evaluation of the regular expression for CS in inquiry so with this uh, this concludes this short uh, video series on, on Jara and q and and you know now how you can build rules that fire so you don't have to keep performing searches for those.